Hey guys, this time it's a question for you. Are cellular data networks really more secure than Wi-Fi networks? Why and why not? I'm going to lay out the argument for you and then we're going to go to you for the answer in this week's Android Guy Weekly. So what's security? I mean, that's a good question, right? Does that mean less hackable? Does that mean less able to be hacked? Does that mean less recorded hacks? I don't know. Maybe it's just peace of mind. So we're not really going to define what security is or what is or isn't more secure. We're going to look at some possible security implications on these various different platforms and kind of weigh in on you know, how much should that really be considered when we're determining whether we're going to use a Wi-Fi network versus a cellular network or not. All right, sound good? There we go. And while you're watching this, if you have a comment, comment right away. Don't don't hold back. Just go down and, and type up your comment. Say, yes, I agree entirely with what Joe the Android guy is saying. He's a genius. And, you know, for everyone other than my mom who's watching, you know, write something else that's more realistic. But anyway, let's get right into it. The first thing that we need to consider is technologies. And by technologies, I mean, you know, the types of networks that are out there. We've got Wi-Fi. Okay, that's one kind. There's actually several different kinds of Wi-Fi, but they all share basically the same set of standards. So when I say Wi-Fi, I mean 802.11, A, B, G, and N. And uh, 2.5 megahertz, 5 megahertz, we're just going to lump all that in together because I can get a router today that does all of that all in one and really a phone that does pretty much all of that too except maybe 802.11a which nobody really uses much anymore unless they absolutely have to that's a topic for another video entirely on some other channel so that's wi-fi we're just going to lump all of wi-fi together into a wi-fi hat on the other side we've got cellular networks cellular networks are wow there's a lot of them there's really just three major types you know, you've got your GSMs, you've got your CDMAs, and you've got your something else's. Because something else's, really, we can't define that well, we're going to just kind of put those off for just a minute. We'll bring that back in, in, in a little bit. So we've got CDMA, and we've got GSM. Two major differences, and they are very different. In fact, on your CDMA device, you Sprint and Verizon customers, and, and this is for U.S. people. In other countries, we don't have you know, CDMA all that much, so this is just kind of a, wow, that's interesting. Just take that out of it. But for us here in the U.S., CDMA is interesting in that you can have data over the same bands that you have voice, but only one at a time. If you're on your phone talking on your phone, you can't be on the web. And vice versa, if you're on the web, you can't be on your phone. It's data or voice, not data and voice. And the reason is, it's all over the same network. It's all over the CDMA network. Of course, there are different technologies that enable that in the background, but that's it. GSM, on the other hand, your T-Mobiles, your AT&Ts, they're a little bit different. They have the ability to have GSM voice, but they also then have another set of frequencies for data. So we're not really concerned with voice in this, just data, but it's you know kind of important to make the differentiation between the two. All right, even still, there's a lot of stuff inside that. We have EVDO, we've got Edge, we've got GPRS, we've got HSPA, we've got HSPA+, HSDPA, HSUPA, blah, 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 blah. Lots and lots of standards. Now, lots of standards means lots of different ways to exploit something, but you can't use the same exploit on one network as you can on another. And a lot of the exploits out there are just for the voice side of those networks, not the data side. It's relatively difficult to hack them because there are so many different standards out there. Back over to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is pretty much standardized. You want to break into something, pretty much all you're doing is you're breaking into a security overlay on top of Wi-Fi, whether that's uh, WEP, whether that's WPA, WPA2, whatever it may be. You're just breaking the security on top of or integrated with 
the data network itself. Because of that, it's a lot more standard. In fact, it's a lot more standard across the whole world, not just the US where we've got all this regional specific stuff. So because Wi-Fi is more prevalent and more standards based, if you will, it's likely more desirable, is that the right term for it? For someone to try and hack and exploit than on the other side, you know, the cellular stuff. So using that as our basis, Wi-Fi is probably not as secure as cellular data. Okay, let's look at another component. My Wi-Fi signal at my house only throws to my backyard. My neighbors are lucky if they even see it. That's partially because of construction, partially because of the antenna configuration and location of the router in my house, but really my signal's not gonna go much further than you know, several houses down the street, best case scenario. Cell phone, on the other hand, my cell tower is a mile and a half away. That's an awful big radius of people that are covered that could hack just that one cell or try and hack my information going to that one cell. Now, of course, cells are interconnected, so it's possible that someone could try and hack me or sniff my data or whatnot from multiple cells away. Not that likely, but possible. So you're talking much greater coverage of people when you talk cellular, which means, hey, that's a bigger honeypot than just one little Wi-Fi node. So in that case, cellular becomes a much more desirable target. And that might mean that cellular isn't quite as secure as Wi-Fi. Okay, so we've kind of gone into technologies a little bit and we've got one case for cellular being more secure and one case for Wi-Fi being more secure. But those are both kind of based on the technology level and they both have, you know, maybe they're not weighted equally, but for the sake of the argument, let's, let's just say they are. That's really not where the problem lies. You see, there are exploits on both sides. So we know of open exploits available on both cellular and Wi-Fi. It's just a matter of somebody actually wanting to do it. Therefore, let's just wash that out, okay? Let's talk now about social engineering. No, not social networking. This isn't, you know, pocket now the new Facebook. This is, you know, getting people to do stuff because people are stupid. And I don't want to offend anyone out there. People as a group do stupid things. A person, a person like you watching this video is smart, but people in general, well, we do a lot of stupid things. For example, I've got my phone right here. I've got my Wi-Fi right over there. I'm connected to my network. Everything's great. I'm trusted. I trust my network. Everything's good to go. I go to work and well, it's my work. The Wi-Fi should be trusted. It should be just fine, right? Except a lot of corporations are really tight on what you can and can't do with their Wi-Fi. You know, they want to protect their network, and rightly so. But you'll start seeing rogue hotspots pop up here and there. That phone can even tether. And with the right app, I could sniff all the stuff coming through it and ha <laughs> ha! Now I've got your personal information. Now I haven't done that and I don't advise that you do that. And I'm not going to tell you if there are any apps out there that do that or what their names may or may not be, but people can do that. Now take coffee shops, for example, go to a coffee shop. They always have free Wi-Fi, right? But what's the name of their Wi-Fi? Is it, you know, Joe's coffee? Is it Joe's coffee shop? If there are two access points there, which one are you going to connect to? Or how about this? If there's Joe's Coffee and Joe's Coffee 2, well, what are you gonna use? Maybe you think, hey, they've got two different wireless access points here for me to connect to, therefore, you know, either one of them I can, I can use. They're doing that to be nice, right? Well, maybe again, someone has a laptop that's running as a hotspot and they're getting all that information coming through. So really, it comes down to trusted networks. Are you being smart as an individual, as a person, and only connecting to Wi-Fi umbrellas that you trust, that you know 
I mean, absolutely no and trust. Is this something that's a public access point that has no security? If so, I wouldn't even do that. I, I would stay away from that if I were you and I stay away from it because I am me. Just don't do it because people can sniff those packets. You're not encrypting anything. You're sending it in the clear. It's just a matter of, you know, putting your ear out there and listening to what's saying, or as they say in Tron, you know, knocking on the sky. It's all you gotta do. Make sure you have some level of encryption. Very important when you use Wi-Fi. Okay, that's my argument for why cellular networks are probably more secure than Wi-Fi networks are. Not because of technological limitations, not because of exploits, not because of equipment that you may or may not have that you need to use to hack either network or either system, but simply because when I turn my phone on, if my Wi-Fi is off, I know that whatever network I'm connected to is the one that T-Mobile, in my case, says is okay. And they have done the research and they put their reputation on the line to make sure that that is secure. Wi-Fi, on the other hand, I don't know until I do my own due diligence and find out for myself if it is more secure or not. So because of that, I would say as a general rule, cellular data networks definitely more secure as a whole. You can make Wi-Fi more secure, absolutely. Turn off your cellular data and just do Wi-Fi, but there's so much more work involved there. There's so much more research involved there and that's something that someone like me, you know, a, an uber geek could do, but I'm too lazy to do it. And if I'm too lazy to do it, my mom's not going to do it. My wife's not going to do it. My kids, wow, they won't have any clue and they'll just tell anybody their social security number that asks because, but dad, the website asked for it and it said I could get a free ringtone. Don't do that. So that's my thought on which one is more secure, cellular data versus Wi-Fi, but now it is your turn. Let us know, did I say anything factually incorrect? I tried not to simplify anything too much in this video like I have in the past, so let me know if I screwed up somehow in the comments below. And also, more importantly, what's your take? Is cellular data more secure than Wi-Fi? Why or why not? Or is Wi-Fi more secure than cellular data? Why or why not? Also, extra credit here. If you want to list some tips and tricks that you use to make sure that your connections are secure and that your data stays secret, secure, and private, let us know that too. App recommendations, practices, stuff that you do, we would love to hear that. Absolutely, definitely love to hear that. So, that's the episode for this week. If you thought it was worthwhile or have someone that you'd like to join in, give the video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends so that we can broaden our viewer base and get all those other opinions in and we can learn more as a group about what's cool, what's hot, what's not, what's secure, and really where technology has taken us and where we want to take technology. For Pocket Now and the Android Guy Weekly, I'm Joe Levi.